today I am going to make a beef wellington. It's um, Ross's birthday on Monday and I thought I would make him a nice birthday dinner and he loves beef wellington so let's go with that. So first thing I'm going to do is the mushroom mixture because it needs to dry out and cool down so I'm going to start off with that. So what you do is you get your mushrooms and you chop them up and you put them into um, a food processor. Add a little bit of salt and pepper and you're going to want to pulse it down to the consistency of almost hummus. So it's going to be a little noisy here for a second, but... Okay, so I've done the mushroom mi mixture. As you can see, it's really wet. So what we need to do now is dry it out. It's very important to do this step. So I've got a frying pan, no olive oil, nothing. We just put it in and basically we just want to dry up the mushrooms and get rid of all the water content in there. So you just basically put it in there. Oops, a little couple of chunks in there. And we're going to just dry it out. And you can see the water coming off the sides. This is a very important um, part of the beef wellington. If you've got watery mushrooms and you put your whole wellington together all it'll do all that will happen is your um, puff pastry will just become a soggy mess and it'll be just not very nice so you can see i think you can see that the water is evaporating off okay, so that looks pretty good so now um we'll just leave this aside to cool till we're ready to assemble everything Okay, so now we've done the mushrooms. Now we're gonna prepare the, um, the beef. We've got this beautiful beef tenderloin. It's gorgeous. So we need to um, sear it. And um, first of all, I'm just going to do a little bit of seasoning. I've got a little bit of rosemary here. I'm gonna chop it up. have a little bit of it on. Okay, so now we just basically want to sear it on all sides. We don't want to cook it. We just want to sear it. So I'm going to get a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. There's my pan. It's heated up. Now I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil. And I'm going to put a teeny bit of butter, too. I like having a little bit of butter. So basically, just put it in. And we're going to sear it all around. Don't forget the ends. And that's basically it. So now we're going to put it on to the breadboard and the 
next thing, so the next thing you want to do is just brush it with some um, English mustard. radish on here if you'd like. There, so that's all ready to go. We'll just leave it aside for now and we're almost ready to um, assemble the whole thing. Okay, so I've got my roast here, my filet waiting and now I put down some cling wrap some, um, and I'm overlapping some prosciutto. So I'm just gonna finish this. I need a bigger bread board. pretty good so that's ready to go we're gonna put it in the fridge now for about 10 minutes or so so now we're gonna get ready to assemble the whole thing so I'm going to roll up roll out the puff pastry my best friend the puff pastry as you all remember anyway here we go okay we're gonna put on the mushroom do your egg wash all around the sides because you want it all to be sealed while it's baking. get a fork and just pinch the edges to make sure that they're sealed properly and that's it so now we're going to put this back into the fridge and just let it rest until it's time to cook i'm going to put it onto a baking sheet and that's it so i'll be back when it's time to put it in the oven okay so my beef wellington has been in the fridge now for maybe three hours, which is a nice thing. So you can make it way in advance for a dinner party and everybody will think you're a rock star because you've done all this. My temperature in my oven is all ready to go. It's at 400 degrees. So now we have to do a good egg wash, which is what we'll do now. Ross's birthday and he's my love I'm going to score it with some little hearts so you can you can do whatever you want but it's nice to have a little presentation on there so I'm just going to do a few little hearts 
big ones and little ones. You don't want to go all the way through, just a little bit. Anyway, so now it's ready to go in the oven. So like I said before, it's 400 degrees and it only needs to be in there for about 20 minutes. Ugh. About 20 minutes. So I'm putting it in. I've also got a Negroni going, so cheers. We'll see you in about 20 minutes. Okay, moment of truth. I'm taking it out of the oven. Kind of nervous. Having what, done one of these in a long time. So, so it looks nice. So now we have to let it sit for 10 minutes before you cut into it. So we'll leave it here and I'll be back in 10. So here it is. It's beautiful. It looks beautiful. I'm going to cut it now. So hopefully it's um, delicious and um, medium rare or even, anyway. dinner but it's worked so a thing that I didn't say before and I forgot to do is when you're doing this the nice thing is to leave it on your pot and put it on your stove top and do maybe two minutes to get the bottoms nice and um, uh, crunchy before you put it in the oven and I'll finish it off anyway I hope Ross likes this this is his birthday dinner we're all being um, Politically, not polit we're going, we're distancing outside and there's six of us having a beautiful dinner out on the driveway, six feet apart. Happy birthday, Ross. I love you to the moon and back and we'll make it through all this before, without killing each other. And um, I finished my Negroni, delish. Now I gotta go find some nice red wine. Ciao people, I love you. See you next week.